Imagine you're 24 years old sitting at a console in mission control with less than 60 seconds to save a rocket that is hurtling towards space with three men inside. Well, that was the story for John Aaron. The year was 1969, it was November, and Apollo 12 was set to take off. Everything looked perfect on the pad, but exactly 36 seconds after liftoff, disaster struck. Well, actually lightning struck. Not once, but twice, the Saturn V rocket was hit directly by lightning. It sent a power surge down the vehicle and blew out the fuel cells. Inside the cockpit, the astronauts saw every single warning light turn on at the exact same time. Not to mention, the intense vibration of the launch made it pretty much impossible to read the gauges. Down in Houston, their screens just turned into nonsensical static, and the flight director, Gary Griffin, was seconds away from calling an abort, which would mean firing the escape tower that would drag the astronauts away from the rocket and that would end the mission before it even began, which would seem like it isn't a problem, except that would be a billion dollar failure. Luckily for us, sitting in the back row was young engineer John Aaron. He looked at that wall of garbage data and he saw a pattern that he recognized. You see, a year earlier, late at night during a simulation, he had seen that exact same pattern when a power supply had malfunctioned. So he knew exactly what it was. And so he leaned into his mic and said the coolest sentence in space flight history. Flight, try SCE to AUX. The flight director had no idea what he was talking about. He said, what the hell is that? John Aaron repeated it, SCE to auxiliary. The command went up to the ship. Pilot Alan Bean was the only guy who knew where that switch was. He reached to the far right of the panel, flipped it, and instantly the screens came back. The power stabilized, the navigation platform realigned, the mission was saved. So they went to the moon that day because one guy did his homework on one obscure switch that no one else cared about.